Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you are watching Voodoo DE VR. Welcome back to the Virtual and Augmented Reality Weekly News. This time with the following topics. So you can experience the Disney World rides in Virtual Reality. Um, the coronavirus is fight against Virtual Reality or people try to fight against the coronavirus in Virtual Reality. Um, Facebook Augmented Reality, Elysia Gameplay Trailer, Virtual Battlegrounds gets an open beta, new controllers from ET, Steam VR Statistics, Iron Man VR is on ice and Form gets a PlayStation VR release. Also, I show you the newest releases and sales this week. Thanks to my sponsors, Woodgoose VR, Opperman Events, Nursing Skills, Andy DeFelzer, VR Ambassador and Alpha Blend Interactive. Let's have some fun with the weekly news and let's go! Voodoo.de So, uh, in these times we all have to stay at home. Mostly we cannot do anything outside. And of course we cannot visit any um, amusement parks and attractions and stuff. So I found this channel, this is the Virtual Disney World YouTube channel. And here you can experience, like you can see here, all the rides in 360. So uh, you can stay at home but still visit the rides. There is a lot of videos here, you can visit them all in uh, 360 mode. Like a water slide or... Uh, or I, I don't know, everything you can do, mountain railroad here, just check it out. I think it's a good thing when you use a virtual reality headset. From the Laurentian University comes a cool news. They use virtual reality to fight the coronavirus. That is very interesting. So as you can see here, there's a man with the Oculus um, Rift CB1 and he is checking out the, the coronavirus structure and this also works in multiplayer with, with other people around the world, with other researchers and they can check out the, the coronavirus and um, take care of it and uh, research something to to fight against it it's it's interesting what do you think uh, do you think virtual virtual reality really helps to fight the coronavirus write it in the comments below so as we all know facebook works um, on an augmented reality headset or glasses or whatever and now they signed an exclusivity deal with plesse and Plessy makes augmented reality displays and they are making them pretty good, I think. <laughs> so they have very high density RGB pixel arrays, very high brightness, low power and high frame rate image sources. So I don't think it will be a long time until we see the first prototype, perhaps on an Oculus Connect exhibition we, we will see. and. I'm looking forward if this is gonna be something that we can play games with. So normally augmented reality is for business, but perhaps Facebook is doing something that we can play cool games with it, perhaps with the small glasses and, and stuff. What do, you, what do you wish Facebook is developing with augmented reality? Write it in the comments below. So finally, we have a gameplay trailer of Elysia. This is a new VR MMORPG. And look at this, the graphic is like World of Warcraft. It looks like a Stranglethorn whale or whatever. <laughs> and um, you can see the fights here. We have our weapons in our hands and can fight. We can also use, uh, we can climb, we can use far distance combat like uh, magic, you will see that here when he fights the spider, you can see the damage amount that's made here with the red numbers. So for me I think it's 
virtual reality is a good thing for MMORPG because we you see other players, you even if you are not next to them, when they are far away, you can play with your friends, you can see them moving. It's a good thing. And I really hope this game is gonna be cool. It's uh, I hope it's a good competitor to Orbus VR. And you can play it on the Rift platform Vive and Valve Index. I didn't I don't have access for now. There is an alpha version. As soon as I have access, I will show it to you, of course. So Virtual Battlegrounds, the next um, Battle Royal game in virtual reality, is out soon. That means April 8th. And this is not a long time to wait. So we have stand out already, but many people complained about this game. But this looks good. Looks realistic with the weapon handling and uh, yeah, with the with the controls. But of course, we have to check out if if the servers are good, if there are lags, if there are cheaters, if there are enough players and stuff. That's very important for these kind of of games and. Uh, I already have access to the game, but I cannot play it because the server are not online. I think on uh, April 5th there is a closed beta or something like that. And perhaps I will check it out. Otherwise I will check it out uh, when it's released on April 8th. What do you think? Battle Royale? Is that cool in virtual, real virtual reality? I think so. <laughs> so you don't like the index controllers or you want to uh, see other controllers, check out this. These are the ET button free VR controller. And uh, look at this. This is this looks like a little stick. And it's tracked. You can see all the fingers here that, that are used. You can see the sliders here. And they have a Kickstarter campaign. We can check it out here. Um, they didn't reach the goal yet, but they have. 38 days remaining. So if you consider to support it, I think they will be very happy about this. Uh, ch just check the, out the campaign. You look at this, they, they just slide it in there and then you can use it. You can also use Steam VR with this. So perhaps Half-Life Alex is playable with them. Very interesting. Um, only thing that I would complain about is that they only have touch pads here. Uh, I, I, I prefer thumbsticks. Uh, to, to play games like Half-Life Alyx. However, I think I will try this out and then we can check it out together. However, if you want to support it, you should do it. You have 38 days remaining, the ET VR controller. So a sad news for all Iron Man VR fans, the game is delayed until further notice. The reason, of course, the coronavirus, as always. So, I already played the game on uh, Gamescom and I can tell you, this is really a good game on the PlayStation VR. It feels great and it's so sad that they cannot develop it for now. Um, we have to wait, guys, we have to wait. Everybody has to wait for everything now and as soon as I know something, I will tell you. Time for some statistics. So, more than 1 million Steam users now have a virtual reality headset and that is 1.07%. Uh, that sounds not much, but it's getting more and more. So, what I really think it's interesting is that the Valve Index has 11% um, spread over the virtual reality headset users and you, you know the Valve Index is very expensive. So, as it seems, People want to spend much money if they get a good quality headset and that's very interesting. On the other side we have the Oculus Rift S on first place followed by the HTC Vive and then the old Rift. Really interesting is also that the <laughs> Oculus Quest is uh, nearly 3%. I expected a little bit more uh, um, that the people connected via link, but perhaps this is growing a little bit. We can also see the Pimax headsets here. <coughs> the 8K has 0.06%, <laughs> not so much. Um, it's getting more and more. So problem now is normally it, it should give, a, uh, it should 
be a big grow in VR headsets, but we cannot buy them now because of the coronavirus. So bad. Normally Half-Life Alyx would push it so bad, but it's not possible. You cannot buy cheap VR headsets now. So we have to be very patient now. So one of the best virtual reality puzzle games form comes to PlayStation VR on April 7th, 2020. Not a long time to wait. I can tell you this game is awesome. It looks good. It feels so big. The, the big machines that you can push together and, and, and do some stuff. It's, it feels good. And I can tell you, buy it. It's awesome. And it will also be awesome on the PlayStation VR. Form. Really cool. So let's check out the releases this week. A giant problem. You have to fight your enemies um, in a, with smashing and, uh, and hitting them. And also with a little bit tower defense uh, with comic graphics in a fantasy universe for 91 euro. Then Xenociders. This looks good. The graphics look very good. And this is a stealth VR shooter in the world of the dinosaurs. Looks very interesting. I think I would check this out. We have Chikaro Dentistry. This is a dental simulation game. So you have to uh, take care of the teeth <laughs> of your patients. <laughs> Looks very interesting. <laughs> Perhaps I would check this out. Then we have sound art. You can paint arts in combination of sound. Looks interesting, but it's a little bit expensive. Then on the Oculus Quest, we have Lies Beneath. I already showed that on my channel. This is a very good horror adventure shooter. I had a lot of fun with that. Then Guns and Stories Bulletproof. I showed that on the PC and now it's available on the Oculus Quest. This is a virtual reality Western shooter. And on the Oculus Rift platform, we have Rayco's Fragments. I also showed that already on PC. And this is a horror adventure game, I would say. We have nothing new on the PlayStation VR this week. And let's check out the sales this week. Psychonauts VR is a very good adventure on Steam VR. It's 50% off. Then we have Grip Combat Racing. This game has now VR support and you can have it for 70% off. Arizona Sunshine, the best zombie shooter, 63% off. And the blue is a very cool game for beginners because you don't get motion sickness. You just stand there and watch very cool underwater scenes, 30% off. Then on the Oculus platform, Doctor Who, The Edge of Time, a very good adventure, 35% off. Pagan Peak VR is a horror experience, 59% off. VR Regatta, a, rail, a sailing simulator for 70% off. Cobalt VR experience. This is a short horror experience for 60% off. Once, this is a magical fighting game for 40% off. And on the PlayStation VR, we have Blood and Truth, a very good action adventure game, 62% off. A chair in the room, a really spooky VR horror game, 54% off. You can explore the Titanic in VR with this game. Um, it's 50% off the best jump and run game on a PlayStation VR. Astrobot Rescue Mission is 62% off. A good boxing game, Creed Rise to Glory, is 68% off. Firewall Zero Hour, the best shooter on a PlayStation VR, is 50% off. Also, Electronauts is 52% off. This is a rhythm music game. Rick and Morty is so funny. It's really funny. You should. Definitely play. This is a cool puzzle adventure, 60% off. Apex Construct is a mix of, of a puzzle adventure story and shooter, 60% off. Sprint Vector, a sport game where you really get exhausted. You can play it in multiplayer as well, 60% off. Don't Knock Twice, a very good horror game, 60% off. Eagle Flight. Uh, this is a flight simulator with an eagle, 75% <laughs> off and Farpoint. This is a very good shooter. You should play it with the aim controller. It's 60% off. 
That were the weekly new news this week. I hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up and please consider to support me to spread VR even more. How that works you can find in the first comment that is pinned under the video. Thanks for watching and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya! Wude.de